Hello to all my family and friends. For all those who don't know, I am the Black Beaver, and today's topic is J O B. You all had a job, especially if you're 16 years and up. So J O B. So I want to talk about some 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 truths about a job. Okay. So this really is geared to people who have a job, but they want to have a side hustle or they want to follow their passion, okay? But, but if you do have a job and you love your job, that's fantastic, good for you. If you do have a career, that's fantastic and you don't really want to do anything else, that's good for you. All right, so th this is my truth about a job, okay? This is my opinion. All right, so without any further ado, let's get it going. But before I, could, before I get started, I just want you to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, share the truth. Okay, because it could help you or somebody else. All right. Okay, so the first thing is job, J-O-B, the meaning. It just means just over broke, which means if you stop getting that paycheck, your ass is broke. Let's face it, right? It happened to me. Um, you got laid off or you were sick and you missed a couple of days and you're like, man, it's tr you're back into the struggle of being broke. All right? So just over broke, so you're just a little bit over broke, okay? And that's number one. The second thing is, I took some notes here. The second thing is, you will be in a job, you will be pushed harder than you, what you're actually making. So let's say for example, you're making $2,000 a month. You'll be pushed like you're making $3,000 a month. So you'll be pushed beyond un, unrealistic expectations, okay? So that's just, that's just one of the strategies your employer is going to use or the company, right? Is to push the employee to, uh, to unrealistic um, expectations because the more they keep pushing you and pushing and pushing you, the more, the more they realize, oh, wow, you can take on this more workload. Okay, let me keep pushing more. You can take on more and more and more, all right? So it's kind of like in the gym. When you go to the gym, you work out, and at first you could, you could just do whatever, five, pull-ups and then now you can do six and now you can do seven eight nine because a human being could be pushed beyond right okay so that's number two all right so number three is all right so number three is a really good one so number three is they're going to pay you just enough to keep coming back all right so it, you can't just get a pay and you're like oh i i'm done i have enough money i can do whatever no 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 no, no. they'll just pay you just enough where you can pay your bills, you can get some food to eat, and once that's once 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 that's covered, you have to go back to work because all the money is pretty much eaten up. Even if you just put something to save, the, the 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 amount of money you get is so little that it's just like for bills, for food. Maybe you can save a little bit, and now you're back to work. Okay, so you're back into that cycle or the rat race, as they call it. Okay, so that's just pretty much what it is. But it's kind of like um, somebody hooked on drugs, right? They give the first hits like, oh, the first hit's free, baby. Take this hit, just whatever, smoke, whatever. And you're like, ah, oh, next time you keep coming back and coming back and coming back. And that's what they actually want. They want you stuck into that cycle so they could obviously make as much money off you. That's the whole point, right? Okay, beauty. All right, so we're on to number four. All right, this is a really good one, number four. This is one someone told me, so I'll give him the recognition. He told me that. I'm not going to name names, but I never thought about it this way. As a worker, as a person who has a job, an employee, you are going to be paying two taxes. So you're paying the tax when you get your paycheck, and now you're going to buy something, food, or whatever you want to buy, clothes, shoes, whatever you want to do, you're going to pay another tax. So you're paying one tax from your paycheck, and you pay another tax when you when you purchase something or buy something, right? So I want to kind of change this so nobody actually pays taxes. The taxes is just taken. So it's kind of like, here's, here's your pay stub. It's already taken away. So you go to buy something in the store, taxes are just taken away automatically. So you're not, you don't actually pay taxes. It just, it just gets taken away. You know what I mean? So it's just taken away. So you get two, two sets of taxes taken away. So you kind of in the middle where... The government takes their piece, and now the business owner takes their piece. So you're in the middle getting 
you're getting it both ways, baby. You're getting it from the front and you're getting it from the back. All right, anyways. So on to the last topic, the last point, what I want to talk about job. All right, so this is a really, really good one. So you're working a job and time, time for vacation, baby. Woo, vacation time. You want to go for vacation, right? No, 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 no. You have to go now and fill out some further form and ask for the vacation time. All right, depending on where you work, how higher seniority is, you, will, you wouldn't be able to get these days off because someone else has higher seniority than you or, or they may say no. So so pretty much you're kind of like a kid. You go down, down to mommy and say, hey, or daddy, can I have this time off? And you have to fully pay paperwork out and they will check your paperwork out and they could say either you approve for the vacation or not, not approve for vacation or the days you actually wanted, you can actually get those days or the months, you can actually get those months, all right? So that's another thing of being having a job. But there's nothing wrong with having a job. Just make sure that you're on your road to a side hustle or working on your passion to wean yourself off of a job. It's really great if you ha have your own little business where even if you're working that job, you really, really don't like it, at least at the back of your mind mentally, you know, well, hey, I have something on the side that's going and it's going pretty good. And if it does really well, I can vamos, okay? But having a job is good, all right? It gives you that drive, it gives you that, that push. Because if you weren't having that job, that, that job, you wouldn't feel the stress, or you wouldn't have that drive to want to push to like exceed to do to do other things, okay? Alright, so anyway, thanks for watching. This is the Black Beaver signing out. Let the blessings flow, big baby. Yeah, yeah. And I'm signing out. Peace. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever, baby. Let the blessings flow. Peace out.